I'm Caitlin Connors, Social Media Director at Boomtown Internet Group. And today, I'm going to show you how to make your blog spot or your blog unique. The first thing I suggest is not using Blogger or anything that gives you a blog spot. I suggest using WordPress for a few reasons. One, you can categorize things. All your blog posts will be categorized. That is not available on other sites like Blogger. Secondly, there are many plugins you can download to use to customize your blog spot. And if the website ever gets hacked or lost, there's a backup of data. Other blog sites, you'll lose all your data. Third, you'll have ownership over your URL. So instead of www.caitlinconnors.blogspot.com, I'll have www.caitlinconnors.com. Ownership over your URL is huge for SEO, and WordPress allows you to do that. Now that we've set up our WordPress, let me tell you some tactics about how we make it really unique and different. Here is an example of a great blog. Happens to be my blog, Boomtown Internet Group blog. The first thing you want to do before blogging is figure out who you're talking to and why. What's going to make them interested? What services or product are you offering? What, sol what solution do you have to alleviate a problem of theirs? Once you have that, get to writing. Make your title catchy and make your content easy to read. Today on the internet, people have ADD. They are not going to stay on your site for very long when they could be going to Facebook or YouTube or somewhere else. What you need to do is create a very interesting title. Then make sure you have subtitles or subcategories so people scanning can easily see what they're about to read. Make sure you have links to other places and anything that you're talking about, whether it's a video or a source, link to them. Use images and videos where possible. Make it easy for them to read. Secondly, post consistently, whether it's every Monday, every other Monday, or every other hour. You'll also want to add these plugins, which I mentioned earlier. The plugins I suggest are as follows. The first one is the floating share bar, which you've probably seen on many sites. You can access this plugin in the WordPress plugin directory, as well as many other plugins. To search plugins, if you don't like the ones that I'm recommending, simply search here. DigDig is a great floating share bar, which will have all your social media and allow people to share it over their social media. The plugin is easy to install. You'll be able to see screenshots here. As you can see, that is what it looks like answered questions here, which don't worry about the, the code, that can get a little bit confusing, and installation, which will tell you exactly how to do it. It's quite easy. Simply download when you find a plugin and follow the information. You'll also need a plugin called Thank Me Later. It automatically sends a thank you email to those who comment on your blog. It's easy to install. Simply download and follow the instructions. The other plugin I highly recommend is the Feed Burner Circulation, which will help you see the subscriber count on the top right of your screen. Right here on the top right, you can see how many subscribers and followers this blog has. If you download this plugin, you can have the same for your blog. People like to see how many other people are on with them and how many other people are following the same information they're following. The last one I suggest is Google Analytics, which is probably the most important. For those of you who understand Google Analytics, you understand why. For those who do not, let me explain. Quickly install this plugin and you'll be able to track people who come to your blog, how long they've stayed, what pages they stayed on, where they're coming from, what they've searched for to get there, where they clicked, basically any information you need to create better blogs in the future. By analyzing your Google Analytics for your blog, you'll be able to tailor blog posts for exactly what people are looking for. Last but not least for making your blog spot or your WordPress unique, is choosing a unique theme. Download a free and well-designed WordPress theme. There are tons of site, sites out there that you can download from. You can also pay a designer to create you a custom one. My favorite, which I found here at freethemeslayouts.com, is a simple, cool, retro theme. You can download it and view a demo. By using a free theme for your blog, such as this one, you'll look professional and put together. Personally, this to me looks like a great blog. Who knew it would be free? I'm Caitlin Connors, Social Media Director at Boomtown Internet Group, 
and that is how to make your blog spot or your blog unique.